So for this setup, I went with what I'd call a pretty typical 9600X build. Everything is chosen with value and performance in mind. I've got the 9600X running on a Gigabyte B650M DS3H motherboard, paired with 32GB of 6000CL30 memory, cooled by the Darkrock DT6, a great budget air cooler that still performs really well, and the GPU is a 9060XT 16GB, rounding out a solid mid-range build that's perfect for Tarkov and other demanding games. Before diving into the BIOS tuning, I highly recommend updating to the latest BIOS version for your motherboard. It can make a big difference in stability and boost behavior. If you're not sure how to do that, I've got a quick one minute tutorial linked in the top right corner. Check that out first if you need help. With that out of the way, let's jump into the BIOS settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the advanced mode, go to the tweaker menu, and we're going to adjust the PBO settings. So go down to precision boost overdrive, set this to advanced, and PBO limits we're going to set to motherboard. CPU boost clock override, we'll enable it positive, and I'm gonna set it to 150 to be a little conservative. You can try starting it at 200, but you might have to step it down depending on your silicon. So next I'm gonna set the curve optimizer. I'm gonna set it to all core, negative 25. Again, you can try pushing it further than that, but for my chip, these were the settings that worked best for me. Next, we're going to tune the memory. I'm going to set the XMP profile. These are 7234 rated sticks, but I'm going to run them at 6000 CL30. So I will enable the high bandwidth support and then set the memory multiplier to 60. So I'm running at 6000 and I'm going to run my F clock at 2100. The higher you run your F-Clock, the better performance you'll get. Again, you can try pushing this. Um, I would try 33 megahertz at a time. 2100 happens to be my limit for this chip. For the U-Clock Div 1 mode, we're gonna run U-Clock equals M-Clock. This is why I clock down from 7200 to 6000. In order for it to be effective at one to two U-Clock to M-Clock, you need to run at least 8,000. And on this motherboard, I just don't think it'll be stable. So I'm gonna leave the sub timings on the XMP settings. I'm just gonna change the CL rating to 30. For the V-Core SOC, I'm just gonna set it to 1.29. This is the max that it can go to. It doesn't mean it's gonna be set at a static 1.29. All the voltages, I'll leave the XMP to handle that. And then I just make sure that resizable bar is enabled. And that's all I change on this particular configuration. The last thing I would recommend you do is save a profile. Let's say you set something a little too aggressive and had to reset your CMOS. You could go back and load your profile and tweak it further from there instead of having to go back and redo everything one by one. So I'm going to save the profile, hit save and exit. This shows you all the changes we've made in the settings and reset. And we've got a successful post here. So that's a good sign. <laughs> So here's how much of a difference this tune made for me in Tarkov. I went from around a 70 FPS average up to about 90 FPS on my usual test route in streets, running up Klimov Street and ending up around Lexos. And I got roughly 20 to 25% gains in the lows as well. The difference was night and day. The game felt way smoother and more responsive with more consistent frame times. It took my 9600X from decent stock performance to what I'd now call a pretty solid tuned performance in Tarkov. To further test the tune, I also ran a few quick benchmarks. In 3 d Mark CPU test, I saw about a 3-5% gain in scores across all thread counts. And in Cinebench 2024, my score went from 131 at stock to 136 after tuning. Pretty nice bump for just a few minutes of BIOS tweaking. Overall, I definitely think it's worth taking a little time to tune your 9600X. It's very easy to do and you'll be squeezing extra performance out of your chip without any extra cost. All right guys, that's all I've got for this one. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please consider dropping a like and subbing. Please consider dropping a like and subbing for more tuning and optimization content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.